What's up? What's up, everybody? <clears throat> Voice is cracking there. This is a video about uh, Hanuman, Hanuman and his abilities. I am working on part two of the documentary of Lord Hanuman, and it's going to be on his adventures. And I found the Ramanyana on Netflix, and I'm going to watch that. And then I also am working with a dude um, who is a Hinduologist. And I was telling him about my first video and uh, went through and read some of his, his messages back to me. Um, in, in one of the things that I got killed on in the first video is that I said that um, he was created uh, because of the Islamic invaders and people were saying, no, no, he, he predates him, the, the birth of Islam, right? He predates it. And that's true, and I misspoke. And what it was is his popularity became on the Islamic invaders. And this guy, um, and I, I'm hoping to have him on. Uh, we're going to do a podcast. I mean, that's the plan. I got a phone call into him to discuss kind of what we're going to talk about. Uh, and, but he's an expert on Lord Hanuman. He's considered the greatest expert in America on Hinduism. And, and it would be a half hour long interview. And I, th I think it would be be good. So what I want to kind of do is a prep video is, is talk about uh, Hanuman, right? Because um, Hanuman... We're going to cover his adventures, and I and I want to just let those who maybe aren't familiar with him or only know him from Black Panther um, kind of get an idea of his abilities, his attributes. And I don't know if my Indian friends know this, but there's two versions of Black Panther. There's the American version where there are the devotees of Hanuman who are a war tribe, um, and they serve the monkey god, the monkey king, the monkey lord. And then when they released it in, in India, they took that out. They're like, let's not call it Hanuman. We don't want any problems. We don't want any problems. So I don't know if you guys are aware of that, but Hanuman is is kind of getting into American culture a bit as uh, kind of a, um, as a hero. So um, let's talk about some of his, uh, his abilities, his attributes. First of one I think is, is important is he's an, an immortal, right? He is immortal. And different versions have, uh, have stated this. Uh, the Ramanyana, the Ramakathra. And he is blessed with being immortal and will be part of humanity forever while the story of Rama lives on. He is, uh, here's another one of his attributes is that he is, uh, what's the word they used? Uh, Kurup. He is Kurup and Sundar. So he's ugly on the outside, but beautiful on the inside, you know, and, and I think that's just a, a great, I think that's probably a really cool attribute to see where, where you, you know, and anybody, I, you know, I, I've, I know people who maybe aren't attractive, but you get to know them, and they're like their inner beauty just overshadows their physical appearance, which is very cool when that happens. He is a shape shifter. What? Yes, he is a shape shifter. He becomes small than the smallest and larger than the largest adversary at will. And uh, he's used these abilities uh, to shrink, to enter into Lanka as he searched for the kidnapped Sita that was in prison there. And later on, he took the size of a mountain with blazing radiance to show his true power to Sita. Strength, right? He is extremely strong, one capable of lifting and carrying any burden for any cause, right? And I think that's a, that's a great attribute of him that that the symbolism of him is 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 you know what do you what do you learn from this is you know it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside it's what you are on the inside and uh in that you're able to overcome and remove any obstacles that that come for you because let's face it man life is filled with obstacles right you have a dream you have a desire and there's always something to impede you from getting it and you tip <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> You typically get frustrated, right? Frustration grows out of a desire to want something, and it's being impeded. Um, he is innovative. He is. Uh, um, 
he's innovative, he is uh, resourceful, and he's able to overcome things. He finds ways around things. He's persistent, right? He is um, um, threatened with with defeat. He comes away to turn again, turn the odds in his favor. And I think that's another lesson. Don't give up because you don't know what tomorrow brings. Just because you're losing today doesn't mean you're going to lose tomorrow, right? And um, and he is uh, he is religious, and you see that in his devotion to Rama. And the Catholics steal this image of Hanuman opening his chest, so you can see Rama there. They do that with the sacred chest of Jesus. And one of the things that you will find as you study Catholicism is it. Because people think that Catholicism really is Christianity, and it's not. What I think Catholicism is, in my opinion, is a a perversion of Hinduism. It is a a a synchronous approach of taking Hinduism and Christianity and blending it. Because a lot of things that Catholicism borrows from Hindus, um, and Catholics don't realize that at, at the time. Um, he is. Um, very um very talented strong brave and devoted and i think he is somebody who um, is able to remove difficulties and again that's what you need in life right you need to surround your people yourself with people like that you need to surround your people yourself with people like that because that is that is what will keep you going in life in my opinion my opinion so this is just a little kind of segue into Hanuman, his abilities, and I'm working on the adventures. We're, gonna, we're going to do the next video is going to be on the adventure of Hanuman, and then we're going to do a third final video on his impact and culture, because he's everywhere, dude, whether you see it or not. He is everywhere. I will catch you guys later, and let's see how many of you guys uh, thrash me in the comments. Peace and much love.